ride everybody so today I got this hoist holding the engine up had it go from under here take the oil pan off and just looking really clean I'm surprised but that's First what happened clean. had to drop the subframe here full suspension the oil pan just to get to this little nut right here because if you don't know that nut will fall off I already took it off of there. So this little nut right here at high uh, horsepower and uh, high RPMs will back off. So there's a little uh, wire. We're going to drill a hole in here, put a wire and tie it down so it won't back off anymore. Mine hasn't backed off yet. I'd rather take care of it before it does, especially with the extra power that's going to be going into it. So uh, we'll be all good to go now. So what ends up happening when this backs off is... Um, your chain sprocket falls off. Your chain's basically spinning on its own. You have no oil pump, which ends up killing the engine. Not installed up there with the wire so it doesn't back off. All this for a supercharger. Gonna put the exhaust manifolds back on there. Today we're finally gonna get the oil pan gasket back on there. We're gonna get the oil pan on. Maybe start putting the subframe back together. Close the bottom end off. All right, so the oil pan is in. All the screws are in, tightened up. We gotta tighten up the power string pump. A couple screws there. Then we're gonna put on the uh, headers. Okay guys, so uh, right now we're gonna go get a fuel filter. As you guys saw the other day, we changed the fuel pump. We ran the car. Their fuel ratio is a little bit better. Riding the 14s, I think we need to be about 12 to 13. So after doing the fuel pump, I totally forgot the fuel filter. And um, by the time I had um, ordered it, it would have been too late. So uh, I just decided to uh, put the fuel pump on first and then uh, try it out and then get a fuel filter because obviously the fuel filter is going to make a big difference. Let it flow a little bit better if it's clean. We'll get on some full throttle pulls here pretty soon. We'll do a comparison video once we put the new fuel filter in. So the old fuel pump came with this car. When I bought it, I've had this car about 12 years. I've never replaced it. it never failed on me. Never need to had a reason to replace it. But obviously with the supercharger, we probably need a little more uh, fuel in the system. So it's just a good practice to change it out. We're gonna get a couple good pulls here. See how the air fuel's looking. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll keep my eye on it. It'll give us a little more boost. It's hard to breathe, but that's alright 